Good evening, this is Braden Sullivan with the National Weather Service in Norman, here with an updated severe weather briefing, recorded Saturday, April 6th, 7.30 p.m. The Southern Plains is expected to go into an active weather pattern, as the storm system currently coming on shore on the western coast of the United States continues to move east before moving out onto the plains early next week. The first threat of severe weather appears to be across northwestern Oklahoma on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. The main time frame for severe storms appears to be after 6 p.m. through midnight. Hail up to the size of golf balls and 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts will be possible with any storm that develops. There is a chance of some very isolated activity possible in southwestern Oklahoma. However, there will be a strong cap in place that may prevent thunderstorms from developing. When a cap is in place, it means that unstable air from the surface will try to rise upward into the atmosphere. However, with this cap in place, temperature will actually increase with height. This causes this parcel to now be stable and no longer rise through the atmosphere. It is possible for this cap to be broken. Uh, this can happen by surface heating or any lift associated with fronts or dry lines. In a capped atmosphere, a parcel from the surface will attempt to rise but will become cooler than the environment around it and will no longer rise. However, if a parcel encounters an uncapped air mass, it will continue to rise up freely through the atmosphere. The threat for severe weather will once again be present across the western Oklahoma on Monday afternoon into Monday evening along and east of a dry line. Although there will be a cap in place, there is the potential for supercell thunderstorms to develop along this dry line and move to the east after 6 p.m. through the midnight hour. The main threats with the supercell thunderstorms would be hail up to the size of baseballs, 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts, as well as the threat for tornadoes. As we go into Tuesday, we expect a continued risk of severe thunderstorms again along and east of a dry line in western Oklahoma. Once again, we will have a cap to battle with, but there is the potential again for supercells to develop with large damaging hail up to the size of baseballs, 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts, as well as the potential for tornadoes. The threat for severe weather will continue Tuesday night into the overnight hours Wednesday. A quarter to golf ball sized hail will remain possible, as well as 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. The threat for flooding will also increase as thunderstorms become more widespread on Tuesday night into the early morning hours. We encourage you to monitor the latest forecasts as details continue to change. There are still some forecast model uncertainties as to the exact track of the storm system, the timing, and the amount of instability that will be in place. We also urge you to prepare for severe weather by following the safety guidelines. Know where to take shelter if you must. We also encourage you to follow our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for the latest updates. In summary, we still expect severe weather from late tomorrow through Tuesday night. Storms will be more isolated on Sunday and Monday over western Oklahoma and western North Texas. More widespread activity will be possible on Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. The main impacts from these thunderstorms would be hail up to the size of tennis balls to baseballs and damaging winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour, though tornadoes do appear possible with any storms that develop Monday and Tuesday. A cold front will overtake the dry line Tuesday night into Wednesday. This could lead to more widespread hail, wind, and heavy rain. Localized flooding may also become a problem. After this period of active weather, we expect quieter and cooler weather to settle in by Thursday. To review the safety guidelines, we once again encourage you to prepare now for severe weather. Review your safety plan, make sure you have a safety kit including a NOAA weather radio, flashlight, and a fully charged cell phone. Make sure that your storm shelters and or safe rooms are ready in the event that you must take cover. Know where your family members are, where they will be, especially during the late afternoon and evening hours. Have a plan in place to assure your family is safe. 
Know how to deal with severe thunderstorms and tornadoes in the event you are caught outdoors. Ensure you know of a safe place nearby to take shelter. Monitor No Weather Radio, our website, and local radio and TV outlets for the latest weather information. For more information, you can visit this link to get the updated severe weather safety checklist. Once again, we encourage you to monitor our webpage, our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for the latest severe weather information.